Hey everybody, this is Dave Rugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. My uh, neighbor down the street is a two-time Emmy-winning uh, TV producer for a newscast show. I didn't even know that actually, um, but I knew she did some work when she used to work in San Francisco. Um, and so now that she's working on a TV show all about fly fishing called Fly Fishing West. And I'll put a link to it down in my description below. But they asked me if I wanted to come up and shoot some behind the scenes for their um, TV show that they're working on. So I was like, man, twist my arm. I love going up into the mountains. So yeah, let's go and do it. We are filming a brand new show called Fly Fishing West, which focuses on fly fishing, but also the neat things you can do around town if you're not into fly fishing. This episode, we've uh, shot the Stanley Hotel. We've been to Peaceful Valley, done horseback riding, and right now we're at the Ball Paint Inn, featuring their key room and their dining. My responsibility is I'm an executive producer, field producer, so I set up all the places we visit, get the interviews lined up, uh, make sure everything sort of runs on time, <laughs> and um, then help the crew uh, when they need it. I actually did a lot of research before we came up to Estes Park and a lot of the research I came across was that this was just a really neat feature place that um, people really enjoy coming to and after seeing it I agree. So one of the reasons I wanted to go up and watch these guys work is they have two camera crews and I really wanted to watch how they kind of work together. Um, I've never seen a TV crew kind of work together. The host of the show used to be a news anchor for like 11 years in the San Francisco market. And the two camera guys, I believe, work in that same market as well, and they have lots of experience, so it was really fun to watch them work together. Like, you know, doing stuff like syncing up time code, and, you know, you know, meeting with each other and trying to figure out who's gonna cover what angle. Um, just really interesting to watch them, like, do an interview, um, you know, wiring up the talent, and, you know, they were a lot more gutsier than I would be, because they <laughs> did the interview with this guy right here next to the water, um, and the water was pretty darn loud and uh, it was really interesting watching them, you know, do these really close-up interviews uh, and moving the camera back and forth. Uh, real fascinating to watch um, somebody work with a non-DSLR camera. So the cameras they were using were JVC GYRM 750 and I believe the 700. They both had two different cameras. Um, and I think it's a third inch chip camera, so it's a pretty small compared to a DSLR. But these cameras are pretty much set up to, for really fast workflows and design, especially for TV work. Um, lots of different things on there that we just don't have on a DSLR to make their workflow uh, much faster. It's really interesting to see how they moved around the talent um, to get different angles and how they didn't get in each other's shot. Um, and how they use different things like, you know, the sandbag type devices and they would set them on, you know, stumps or rocks and stuff like that to get lower angles. One of the things I was really surprised about was the camera can do 1080, but they were shooting at 720 and Michael explains why. I've, I've uh, zoomed in, I've set my focus, I'm trying to decide, you know, where I want my f-stop and where I want my shutter and uh, I'm playing a game with my auto iris, I'm trying to get it to uh, f-stop uh, 5.6 because that's an optimal uh, setting for uh, the lens. So I'm just uh, shuffling through my shutters to find a nice shutter speed that'll get me close to that. Kick down my neutral density filter. Pretty bright out here, so I'm doing 1 500th of a second on shutter, which makes things look super crisp and sharp. 16? Oh, no, no, that's a setting. It's just we shoot 720p 60 frames per second. It's just one of those standards that we shoot at. So, um, doing some establishing shots of the, re of the uh, location, uh, getting some wides, I'll do some pans back and forth, balancing my light between the outside and the inside because they're different color temperatures, and then I'll get some close ups. Now I'm still set up on the outdoor because if you look at this room, there is a huge amount of glass in here, which I love, by the way. Which is um, hard to shoot. <laughs> what, so what I do is I shoot for the sunlight. I'm balanced with the sunlight and I'm using an iris setting for the amount of light. So there'll be little yellow globes, but, um, but everything's gonna look beautiful and warm in here. Every time I get a chance to watch somebody else work, it's really interesting. You always pick up a few little tidbits of things. Um, for instance, the things that they had on their waist uh, on either side to carry different like lenses and mics and batteries and all sorts of stuff that they needed for the shoot that day. I really enjoy going up in the mountains. It's just so nice up there. I'm not a, 
I don't fish myself. Um, I should teach my, my girls how to fish, but um, it's just a lot of fun going up there and just hanging out for the day. Here's the host actually catching a fish, uh, which they unfortunately weren't able to catch that many fish, so this is the only one I caught on tape. So that's pretty much it. Um, just kind of something I thought you guys would be interested in to see how you know other people that actually have uh, cameras for TV work kind of work. Um, it was kind of fascinating to find, kind of follow along with them and, and you know have some fun. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's about all I got. Uh, again, don't forget to check out my training courses on my site for the different DSLR cameras. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.